today. You missed yesterday, but we're thankful to have you here today. Um, yesterday was judo or like, you know, gi takedowns. Today is leg locks. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, leg locks are pretty important and pretty useful. People don't understand leg locks is not just about jumping on a leg and like wrenching and hoping for the best. There's so much that goes into isolating the joint itself, making sure that you have the proper grip on it, making sure that you're putting the proper momentum and like uh, position behind it and making sure that you control it so that you one, don't hurt your training partner and two, that you don't lose it. Cause uh, what people don't realize about leg locks is if you go for it and you mess up, you can actually get your guard passed. You can get re-leg locked and so on. So uh, my leg locks were eh when I had a good straight foot lock, but after spending about a year or so of lab, like that's who I can thank for being really uh, Guys, today's lesson is gonna be like this. We're gonna cover uh, uh, breaking mechanics for straight ankle lock, breaking mechanics for knee bar, and then we'll put it into a few uh, scenarios how to get there. I will also like to address a couple of heel hooks, a couple of homework specialties of mine, and a couple of escapes. Does that work? Yeah. Yeah. All oh, right. <laughs> I, I put myself on an inside heel hook or whatever, right? I don't want that. So now I'm saying like put here, a little elevation, turn my heel towards his ribcage, and limp out. Whenever you limp out, though, guys, either completely clear the thighs, because he might run after you, right? Or spin sharply into some kind of seated guard, like a butterfly, like right? Just uh, make sure that he does not chase you. He does not uh, tra tra track you, right? Good. Okay. So remember, heel towards the ribcage, ballerina toes. Because sometimes we flex our feet. We do jujitsu feet when we butterfly hook somebody or we'll apply our triangle. But other times we do this. It's not that this is good or this is bad. Or vice versa. You just, you know, every position for the job. One, three. <laughs> Okay, so boom, boom. Lastly, guys, uh, uh, one of the drills, you can drill by yourself, Haron will sit up, straight my foot and hop over, right? So he took this part out of the equation, leg lock is not gonna work, I'll repommel, so it's a good drill. It's a good drill to warm up, but in reality, I don't wanna run with obstacles, I want execution style, right? So a uh, little portion of technique here as well. Uh, with my heel, I find his lotus, floating rib, and I wanna kick him. Often people focus, not incorrectly, you're supposed to focus on this little pinch, pinch in the knee, uh, cut out rouse to escape, but you also got a kick right here, right? And that will make it so much harder for him to strip my foot off, right? And lastly, third law of Newton, force equals counter force. The more I kick here, the more I create tension here without being any stronger or without squeezing any harder, right, Haron? Yeah. There we go. All right, so strip my foot. Let's go back. Strip it now. <laughs> uh, there is no breaking mechanics coming yet because I'm not hipping in, I'm just locking his foot out. So watch guys. All right, Ashigarami, squeeze your knees here on your side and somebody call my name. Hey Vlad, what ice cream? Peanut butter chocolate. Okay. Boom, done. Control, control as I'm falling. See, Harun will come with me. Bam! Sometimes it's hard to lock in. I know Alex likes this little uh, hip rewind. Hip rewind, relock. Or sometimes my lock maybe was too high. I don't want to squeeze calves. There are calf slices, but they usually as a wedge, not as a squeeze, right? So too much, open up, rebite. Right, guys, he's got a little divot on his heel here. I will never slip off. I want his calf doing stupid stuff, so right there. Now, on my elbow, on my side. Hi, you see how he jumped up? And then we... I'm stabbing in the pocket. He might start chirping out and posting it. I don't care. I don't care. It's always irrelevant. It just smoke. Well, I'm selling him bullshit right now, right? I want a leg lag, but I'm selling the pass. Oh, same thing we just did before, right? As I fall, I clear both legs at the same time. That's why it's why I'm spam. <laughs> Tough crowd today, all right? <laughs> all right, and uh, if I go like this, Sometimes as I fall, Karon turns away from me, limps out, I fall, he's looking stupid, right guys? So do not commit to both hands on one ankle. Always two points of control. It's still two hands, just not at one point. And also, what that will allow me, it will allow me not to fall on my back. 
I want to initiate being as straight up as possible. Like this. If I start lacing one leg, or worse yet, the other one prematurely, I will put myself in contention to be heel hooked. Like, why would I do that, right? Uh, there was a bit of a critique. People say, but Vlad, there's like a little free fall through which he's gonna like uh, uh, escape. And I challenge, I'm like, escape. And uh, nobody escaped yet. Escape. I'll meet him always. Always meet him there. You get there fast, right? Like, huh? Guys, uh, understand this position is no longer 50 50. When my feet are besides my partner, it implies that he can do whatever I want to do to him, to me. My feet are right here. And what it will do, it will do a couple things. Uh, Haron wants to sit up and put his boot on and leg through. He'll get in contention to hand fight and possibly escape, right? If my feet are in the center, try to sit up. He cannot get two hands, try to put the boot on. He cannot play on my left. I will fall on my side and hit it. Uh, the way, go back, the way we uh, cross our ankles, outside leg on top, okay? Not like this. If our boy uh, is impervious to pain to a degree, and I do ankle conditioning drills, which we will do, if he shuts me off here, I'm on a straight ankle lock, and Haron goes for the heel hook. Heel hook is like, quit in chest, beats everything, you screwed right now, right? So now we're racing, then I decide to switch over here, it's too late because he's ripping me, all right guys? So make sure that we cross our ankles like this and both our feet are safe. Here, there is a potential to be a heel hooked on this leg. All right? And if our boy chose lazy position to disrespect me like this, it's gonna be one step less. No, one step fewer, okay? If he sits up, I'll be right in the zone, ba 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 hand fight, position, position, flip him over, turtle position, right? Only I don't let go, I, I stick. And if he just goes like this, there we go. Butterfly guard, guys, right? Uh, butterfly guard for, for many reasons. I'm, uh, you know, have good legs, can play with this guy. Oh, like this, right? You can get to body lock and wrestle up. You can do elevation game, you can do sweeping game, you can do headlock. And you can do rocking chair things, right? Like such. Boom. You get to the back. So great guard for me to play. I, I love it. So don't let him uh, body lock you, right? Right here. Again, the lobster close. Lobster. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, so watch. I'm going to start rocking him up and then choose a direction to go. If I drop my partner one way, I will sneak out the other way, kick my leg through, and go to Washigarami. Come here. It's like a crazy relationship. Now I don't want you anymore, go away. <laughs> <laughs> right there, boom. Precisely like this. Because remember, knee bar and a saddle is only like two degrees of rotation uh, different. Okay? And generally, generally, I can always switch, always put my butt out as I uh, realign myself, which is a little tricky. You guys understand the, the, the mechanics, how it works? Also, Haron can rotate to a heat. Haron can realign his knee in two ways. Okay? If he decides to rotate towards me, I catch his ankle, and now game over. If you look at any good like sambo specialist that do roll a knee bar, they always secure the second leg. And sambo wrestling is done for one reason. If Haron stands up during the knee up applying submission, it's considered a defense. Because combatant now he can kick me, referee blows the whistle, there's no uh, verbal commands, or only blowing whistle, and we restart standing. Okay? 
That's why they do good to last. However, even if the rule set is not like Sambo, it's still advisable to collect that second leg because he can use it to bridge, rotate, strip my other leg, you know, do all this stuff, okay? However, if Haron runs, uh, he uses running man, turns away, pulls me through the hole, now, now he's out, okay? So rotating towards me is suicidal, rotating is uh, again, uh, away from me is completely advisable. So what we will do, guys, watch, we catch uh, this kind of uh, configuration, like a rear naked strangle, like such, and we're gonna put our face right here. If Haron goes away from me right now, He's gonna blow his ass, right? I collect figure four, I grab his heel from the bottom like this, right guys? And I give it a little turn. You see how his knee turn exactly in the way I want? And then my range of motion should be minimal. Let's go a little hump. Okay. Right collar time this time, boom, boom. Then we hip guys to so-called alternating leg pattern. My hip, my hip. And then we finish with a rolling knee bar, all right? Let's look at the rolling bar. Guys, so far, right? All three moves. Uh, on the hook shot, uh, hip heist, and roll. You guys know all these moves. You probably do them during your warm-ups, right? I'm reaching with this hand behind hamstring, like this. Just like such, all right, guys? Do not post your hand, please, guys. That's the most common injury and mistake, all right? Whenever I invert, I want to kiss my crotch. So my shoulders go right under, and my neck is never stressed. Not only it's safe, the deeper my roll, the easier I'll kick him over. The more I extend, the shallower my roll, the harder I'm going to score and stuff. Do not roll to the outside, guys. I mean, it's not like a huge mistake. Do not roll here. Right, guys? Do not roll. You can stay on the leg, but knee bar is going to be lost. And also, there's a great counter I do often too, right? Haron, could you make this mis mistake? And instead of yes, he starts to roll. I'll step through, spin around into my own heel hook or 50 feet. But if I roll rolls under my legs, I'll be forced to post my hand, zap, and barrack roll to my legs that is engaged because the way I roll, I lift your butt. You guys understand? It's not that you cannot salvage the outside roll, but it's much better. Okay, so we're here. I still have my connection with a headlock or underhook or whatever. I invert, I get right here. I roll. As I'm about to finish the roll, I go shut down, right here. If I continue roll like this, Haron is gonna triangle his legs. Not a big deal. I can switch to saddle, but now again obstacles. I want a knee bar, I want cool points. So by the time, as we roll, oh, collect your triangle, he can't. Hello, mom. And uh, also my personal philosophy is unity over division. So as opposed to uh, looking for differences between us, I see us all as grapplers, right? I always look for things that unite us. Same thing with religion, right? It's not a Muslim and a Christian, it's a guy who believes in God, you know what I'm saying? So we are united by uh, believing in God. We are united by doing grappling arts and so forth and so on, unity over division. I would like to promote Alex, he's outrageous, 
I have uh, I, I, I have to train with him. He used to teach at my gym. Uh, it was the first gym he ever taught of. We rolled his outrageous black belt on a great learning curve. I highly recommend, guys, if you're in Bartlett, New Jersey, Bataille, that means battle you heathens, uh, visit that gym, guys, and you will not regret it. Check him out on Instagram and uh, join and roll.